Hey everybody, Mike here. We just got done seeding this section of pasture here recently. Went ahead and grabbed my tripod sprinkler that's made by Orbit. Most of the time my pasture's got really tall grass in it. This tripod sprinkler's come in really handy when I need to get up above the tops of the grass to get irrigating done. Pretty simple design. This folds out like a camera tripod would. You tighten down your lock screw here and then your legs extend out. You got two extensions per leg. You'll have to excuse how nasty mine is. Our water has a ton of iron in it. The finish on this would normally hold up really good. In fact, all the green still looks really good where the water hasn't hit it as bad. I've got a lot of sediment and iron in my water. That sets up just like that. Bring in your hose here and connect it up. And then you want to make sure that you got enough slack on your hose. If the hose is pulled too tight, this will actually fall over. So you're set up just like that. So here's what it looks like when it's running. You can switch this up if you want it to run counterclockwise instead of clockwise. You can do that. Switch it back to the other direction. And if you want to mess with the height at all, you can you can slide that piece up there or bring it way down. So you can dial in how far you want it to spray. You can run that screw in or out. So you see now the screw's not in there at all. So you got a nice long stream. And if I run that screw back in, it widens out the stream, which, but it also sacrifices how much, how far you can shoot it. So it really just depends on how much distance you're wanting to get out of that. And if you put this piece here down, like so, as soon as it hits that lock, now it switches direction until it hits that lock there. Now you're only spraying that section of, of your yard. How this performs also will depend on how much water pressure you've got available to you. Out here where I'm at, when I've tested it, I've always had between 40 and 50 PSI out where I'm at currently. I get quite a bit of distance out of the sprinkler out here when I've got it adjusted how I want. Something else to keep in mind is performance on this will be drastically decreased depending on your wind that day. So if you've got a decent breeze going, you'll get good coverage on one side of the tripod, but on the other side, you won't really get much at all. So you might be out there moving this more often. Just things to think about though before you hop into this tripod. That way you have reasonable expectations going into it. I'm really happy with the sprinkler since I've owned it. It's been a really good job for what I use it for. I'll probably end up buying a couple more here come spring.